Hello fellow Star Wars fans. Um, in one of my last videos I had said that the next guy coming was going to be Sideshow's legendary scale Boba Fett, which is a half scale figure. And it arrived yesterday. Um, I had to have it shipped to a different address just because I know I'm not usually around because I work during the day. So I went, I picked it up today and I just finished getting it assembled. So overall, the assembly process was super easy. Uh, the hardest part really was getting the hands on. And it's not because those were inherently difficult, but just the way you have to kind of pull the fabric over it and get them lined up. It's a little tricky, but by and large, it was super easy to put together. Um, I did also have some difficulty with the light up features. At first, it wouldn't work. I thought, okay, maybe it's the batteries. So I tried a different set of batteries, still didn't work. Then I chose another set of batteries that I know worked. In fact, it was in one of my other Boba Fett busts. And um, I played around with the wires inside, and it finally worked. So unlike, say, the life-size figure or even the life-size bust, the recent one, this does not have a plug option, an AC-DC plug. Um, all you have are batteries, and the batteries go into the jetpack here. So I actually prefer that though, because it makes displaying it way easier. Because now you don't have to worry about having it near an outlet. So I'm pretty excited about the light up features. I feel like Slideshow has stepped up their game a little bit in terms of light up features with Boba Fett. And now it's including um, a light up feature for the chest plate, the antenna, but also the jetpack. And both of those things, the, the helmet and the jetpack, I thought were sorely missing from the life-size figure. So I'm just really happy to see that they have begun including those. Uh, for a comparison, let me bust out a Boba Fett figure. So here he is next to one of the original <coughs> three and three-quarter inch Boba Fetts. So you can see it's quite a difference in scale there. The overall sculpt I think has done really well. Uh, this is probably the best Boba Fett sculpt that Sideshow has done so far. And they corrected the kind of undersized helmet from the life-size figure that they did. So everything appears to be proportional. Again, unlike the, the life size, which had a little bit of undersizing as an issue. If anything, I feel like some things might be oversized. Like his sidearm, to me, just looks really big. But it's not it's not enough to bother me. And maybe it's maybe it's just me. I might be wrong. Uh, the paint applications on it are pretty well detailed. So when you get up close, you can see that it has multiple multiple layers to it. You have the silver coat, yellow outlines, um, and a couple green sprays. And this piece is a darker color, correctly. And again, just like with the last life-size bust they did, they have the correct Boba Fett symbol here. Thank goodness, because again, on the life-size, it has the incorrect one, which is commonly found on the majority of Boba Fett merchandise. But another thing that I was really happy to see is that it has... Oops, sorry, that's my finger. It has the correct Empire Strikes Back um, Mandalorian skull over here. And oftentimes you see the one with the horns separate from the skull, which is Return of the Jedi. So it's nice that they have that detail correct. I'm very thankful for that. Um, also, it has this little symbol on there. And the, the paint applications to the helmet all look really good, I think. Especially in the scale. Nicely detailed. It has it still has sort of a hand-painted look to it. Um, but overall, I think they're really, really good paint applications. The blaster has sort of a silver look overall to it, which if you're going to be nitpicky, really isn't correct. Um, the tip here is made out of a camera flash, the same one used for Darth Vader's lightsaber. Sorry, I can't... Oh, an MPP. That's what it is. 
and the gun itself, the body of the gun, was made out of a flash gun. So they they should have been they should have been different colors. This should have been a darker color, but that's pretty nitpicky, I think, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, this has a nice sort of wood finish to it, which is accurate. Um, the hand is connected to the gun, which I was happy to see, uh, just for the sake of keeping it secure. Moving over, you have first gauntlet. Has a little rocket on it. This is actually the first time I've really looked through this for detail, too. So I'm discovering things as I'm talking about them. And it looks as though that calculator is has a different colors to it. And you can get sort of a look at the flamethrower there. So everything's really nicely detailed. I mean, even, even that MPP model is really nicely detailed and you can see like all the all the little cutaways and on Vader's lightsaber that's where they suck like wires and things and I think this is where the um, the emitter on the lightsaber would go and again that's part of the camera flash but in Star Wars lore this is where the camera flash where the emitter sits Moving him around. I don't have him on a lazy Susan or anything, so I'm just trying to badly move him myself. Bo -bo -bo. Um, like with the life-size figure, the shoes and the hands are cast. But they, still, they look good. No complaints about those. He has a wedgie. Poor guy. And the paint looks good on the jetpack, too, with all the appropriate kind of decals and wear and tear that are commonly seen. It is, there's a little detail that goes here and it is missing that, but it's so minor. You know, I'm not gonna complain about that. Again, there's a look at the the damage from the backside. Looking looking pretty good, like I said. No complaints about how, how they did the paint ups. One sort of funky thing about the helmet is, so it just kind of sits on that horrifying nightmare visage, and it doesn't really sit on there well. Like, there's a lot of give to it, um, so I think it's going to need a little bit of foam or something just to keep it, keep it in place. And get some nice looking Wookiee scalps. One thing I really do like is how well these pads, these uh, pockets are stuffed. They look, they look really full. And, you know, that's one of the things on the actual costume. You see how sort of, like, rectangular they are. Like, they look full, but they, they don't look like they're full of junk. Like, they have a really specific form to them. And I feel like they did a nice job capturing that specific form. And you can see, too, that they used different green tones between the helmet, the armor, the gauntlets, the jetpack. And just to give you kind of a look at the base. Nothing fancy about the base. Uh, he, he keys in between both feet, and they line right up. Um, I've had some some sideshow pieces where the figure doesn't key in exactly. Uh, for instance, my life-size Yoda, where I actually am unable to have both acrylic pegs in his feet because it just it doesn't line up properly. Fortunately, he has the walking stick too that adds some support, but uh, this one dropped right in very easily. Nice airbrush detail on the shoulders. Yeah, overall, I'm super pleased with this figure. I've been I've been dying for this scale Boba Fett. I mean, you know, if you watch any of my videos, you know I basically have every conceivable scale of Boba Fett. So when I saw that this was being being made, I jumped right on it. Very excited that they were finally doing the half scale, and I'm not disappointed. I think it's really well painted. Um, the sculpt is really nice all around. 
Um, yeah, I don't have any any legitimate complaints with it, other than you know the blaster being a slightly wrong color, but that's not that's not enough to deter me. I think it's a really well done figure, and right at the top of the list of the best Boba Fett's that Sideshow has done. And I love the light up features. I hope they continue to incorporate these type of light light up features into their Boba Fett's. And that's it. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, if there's anybody out there who is going to be receiving it too, send me send me a, a comment. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.